long time since we've um, <coughs> we've put up a video. It's probably because we've haven't been anywhere in a while. Been busy doing life. Um, but welcome back to the channel. It's a pretty exciting time for uh, Jackie and myself. We are uh, about to travel Australia. Just I've just finished work for the afternoon, and uh, Jackie's about to finish shortly. <coughs> and um, yeah, we've got uh, eight months off work, which we feel super super fortunate about. And. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for a lap around the block. So anyway, we're just hitching up now. We've got a um, got a new caravan. Well, our first caravan because everything else we've sort of borrowed and tried from different people. So we'll be able to show you that at some point. But right now, the uh, priority is to get hooked up. Got to finish getting all the uh, food out of the house and uh, doing all our chores and bits and pieces. Because the plan is, is that we're going to leave uh, tomorrow morning. So yeah, we'll get uh, hooked up and then go get Jackie and I don't know. We'll see you guys in the morning, but it's very, very exciting. just stopped for some fuel in Dalwangyu um, because we're not going to try and make it to Mount Magnet like last time um, and then we are trying to get somewhere up the road between Meekathara and Newman um, because we want to get as far north as we possibly can. We've got eight months off work um, but we don't want to spend too much time in WA because we did, we did it a couple of years ago so we just want to see where we get to um, and try to be up in Derby by the end of the week so that we can enjoy the rest of the country because yeah derby is where we left off last time so we'll give it a go see where we get to and we'll take you along for the ride but first fuel because we're not running out again <laughs>
keep going. Day Sweet. one is going well so far. No issues. It's good. Yeah. So we made it to camp for the night and lucky because Josh was pretty tired. So this is literally a van parked here and check this out. This is our view for the evening. So I'll walk you down. We're just staying at the Gascoigne River Middle Branch camp night, um, camp ground. There's quite a few free camps here. It's a really nice area. Um, you pretty much just pick a spot near the riverbank. Um, and it's first in best dressed. Um, but yeah, the river's um, a bit dried up at the moment. Um, it's not nearly as flowing as it was it was um, a couple months ago, but this is what it is at the moment. So obviously still got dry riverbed there, but there's still water in it and it's still beautiful. And then we're just literally up there on It's about 4.30. Um, Josh is just getting some pics now. And then we're going to have some dinner and have an easy night and go to bed. Because we didn't sleep very well last night. So we need some sleep. And I'm still sick. So we need to get better. Alright, well, we are finally here on our first night. I'm just putting in a little bit of footage from today. Trying to do get a few things set up, which is part of the, the fun. And uh, Jackie is busy making our, our first meal on the road, which tonight we are having beef burgers. Beef burgers, nice and simple, nice and quick. Hopefully, and Very um, quick. <laughs> then we can yeah jog off to bed. So we ended up doing almost 900 k's and over the course of about 11 hours. So I'm pretty wrecked. I think it's always the way when you have a, a big uh, drive day uh, and you haven't done it in a while. So anyway, burgers for us and then off to bed. Should be good. See ya. Well, good morning everybody. Day two on the road. And it has been a really good night's rest, our first night on the road went well. Yeah, we went to bed at like 7.30, uh, it's 6.20 now, so I think we slept for like 10 hours or something, we obviously needed it. Um, one of the really nice additions that came with our caravan, which we will show you around at some point, is a diesel heater, and it was it got down to about 3 degrees overnight. Uh, but it was lovely and warm. We just let our diesel heater run through the night um, and allowed us to have summer sheets and, and get up in the morning and it was super, super comfortable. So um, that definitely made the overnight experience a lot better. But anyway, what's the plan, Jackie, for day two? Day two is Caragini. We are trying to make it to Caragini today. We should be there by about lunchtime. Um, we're just... Where we stayed was about 230 k's south of Newman. Um, so we've got probably about five, five and a half hour drive today, but not too bad compared to yesterday. And then we can spend the afternoon at Dale's and maybe do a walk, yep. whatever we feel like. Do one of our favorite walks, maybe. Maybe something new, like we did last time. So yeah, yeah. keen just to stop for a day or two. Yeah. Now that we've done a bit of driving. Yeah, so it's um, a beautiful
beautiful sunrise this morning as we're just driving along. Um, it's one of the real magical parts of the morning out here in rural WA. You uh, get these lovely sunrises. The uh, wind is down this morning, so hopefully our fuel economy will improve for a bit. Um, last, my digital clock on the car was telling me it was yesterday afternoon before we pulled into camp we're at about 26 litres per hundred with the headwind so um, keep you posted how fuel economy goes for all those that love fuel economy stats like myself he does yeah <coughs> I am tracking it so but anyway just enjoy some of this sunrise with us it's beautiful Well, good morning. It is day three for us. It's our first day that we should be at work, which feels really, really nice. Lovely. And we're just doing some brekkie. Show us what you've got from Jackie. Bacon. Bit of bacon, bit of eggs. A nice little wrap. Should be good. And um, we have organised to catch up with our friends from South Australia, Josh and Tegan. So, probably won't put the camera too much in their face, but. We probably will introduce you to them. Um, we're hoping to do a couple of walks today. Um, we want to try and firstly do Wino Gorge, because uh, we haven't done that before in Karajini. And then if we're still filling up to it after that, because that's supposed to be a pretty intense walk, according to the guides, uh, we want to do Hancock Gorge uh, as well, which is also pretty intense. Um, but that was one of our more favorite it was good, thing. it was hard, but it was really good, like definitely worth it. Yeah, so and hopefully because of the time we're, of year we're here, there might be a bit more water in there as well. So it'd be cool to see how things change throughout the year. So anyway, that's the plan. Breakfast first, and then on to Wino Gorge and Hanrail Pool. Happy days. Just finished 
Where are we? We know Gorge. We've <laughs> 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 already lost it. We just finished We Know Gorge and we're just about to go down into Handrail Pool, which is class five walk. Are we ready? Class five. Time. We just finished handrail pool and we know, we know gorge. gorge. What do you reckon? Good. Good? Pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Very, very nice. Yeah, it was nice. Glad we did. The handrail bit at the end was fine. It was fine to get down. It's getting back up where you got to point yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and straddle the pole. And straddle the pole <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that's fine. But otherwise, it was fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll have some lunch and then... Maybe do Hancock Gorge. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. Here's your class. We've already done class two. Yeah.
Okay, when you go up those steps at the very beginning of the walk. So many steps. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. We've just gotten back to camp. We're just back at our van um, at Dale's. We've just done handrail and Hancock and we've just driven back and it's been a really, really good day, but really big day. Um, but we're just gonna end it there. So we hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll be back for more next week. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of our travels. Um, see you in the next one.